Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Casual Comic Collector. Um, today I've got um, another unwrapping and overview video of the Star Wars Original Marvel Years Omnibus Volume 2. Um, it's a book I picked up recently. I actually picked up all three volumes, 1, 2, and 3 recently. I've done um, a video for Volume 1, you guys should check it out. Um, and now I'm on to Volume 2. So let's, uh, let's get it unwrapped and have a look. So that's the uh, front, that's the spine, and that is the back. And this volume includes issues 45 through 78 um, and annual number two, and has a cover price of $125. Alright, so let's. Uh, Take the dust jacket off and have a look inside at the book. So, uh, as in, a, it, like Volume 1, also has a very similar sort of classic black cover with a different, uh, different image. Um, no text on the spine and nothing on the back. So, but yeah, I like, I like this look. It, it looks, you know, black classic looks good. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look inside. Um, oh, actually, before I get started, uh, let me show you what the uh, spine of the book looks like. Um, so you've got a standard Marvel sewn binding. Um, the binding doesn't have as much give as Volume 1 did, at least not this copy, but it still um, opens up nicely. You still get uh, nice view to the middle, there's not much gutter loss. Um, pages stay open nicely. Um, when you flip over to the front, pages are starting to curl in a bit, but the book still stays open. Um, like I said, the binding does look a bit tighter uh, than in Volume 1, but uh, generally speaking, I mean, as you can see, because it is a bit tighter, the the pages are like when you even just with a few pages on the end, it will they flip over on their own, um, which you didn't get with volume one. But um, I mean that's just a this is a minor detail. Um, the book is holding together nicely, otherwise though, so it looks good. All right, so now let's flip through and have a look inside. So, so yeah, this obviously being volume two, it continues the the series and sort of the adventures of all the um, well-known Star Wars characters. Um, I mean, I think these uh, these stories will happen. I think so. Volume one ended with um, Empire Strikes Back, and I think Return of the Jedi happens in Volume 3, so these are basically sort of the stories that were created exclusively for the comic. Um, as I said in my previous video, these all came out sort of before my time, so I um, I never read these when I was when I was growing up. But uh, but yeah, I think by all accounts the by volume two, the storytelling and the artwork does get better. I think volume one, when when the comic series first started out, you, you could tell that the the art in it was a bit rough, uh, well, rough around the edges. Um, and I think, I mean, even though it retains its its sort of very seventy and early sort of late seventies, early eighties style, um, it does. Uh, it does look a bit better, um, and also I think what you get is a lot of the character. Now, since then the movies, or by the time this came out, the movies um, had become a pretty big hit. So the characters in the comics start to look a lot more um, like the characters in the movies, which you didn't necessarily get um, in Volume One. But uh, but yeah, it looks good. The artwork holds up. 
Um, I think, yeah. I mean, this, this is the kind of book that if you love, if you like Star Wars, you you you're gonna enjoy this. So, um, I mean, it doesn't look like you get much in the way of extras at the end. Just a few sort of um, black and white versions of the uh, the covers. But yeah, I mean, I'm like I said, if you if you enjoy Star Wars, I think this is something that would probably be worth a pick up. Um, to be honest, all three of them. So, um, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, like I said, um, check out my video for uh, the review I did for Volume One, and stay tuned for Volume Three, which I'll be uh, doing shortly. Um, but that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see you soon.